I do think that uh, anybody who assumes kind of that, you know, you come into a community, whether it be a Letcher County or whether it be other counties in eastern Kentucky or for that matter in Minnesota, that you come into a community and basically you're dealing with people who are deficient will get nowhere. That's not the way it works because you, you build on the strength of people and you build on the assets that are in the community, starting with people. I have a lot of confidence about this country and the potential of change because I've seen it before and it'll happen again. It'll happen depending on what we do. First ingredient is, and this was said earlier, and I forget everybody's name, but one, one, one gentleman here today said, you know, we've got to start talking about um, what we're going to do, which I think was just a simple way of saying, and I know people have, that if there isn't a, if it's just, if it's just opposing things, if it's just saying what's wrong, and we can't talk about what we want to do to make things right, it doesn't go very far. So the real first question is, first critical ingredient is you have to have direction. And there have been a lot of things said here today, but more than anything else, I think it's been around, it's been around sort of uh, how to build the economy, how to have the jobs, how to have the opportunities. I mean, that's come up over and over and over again. But I think the first thing is we just have to have real sound economics. We can't wait on other people to sort of make these decisions for us. We've got to make our own decisions, and we've got to have our own models. And uh, it's clear to me that that's critically important. The second thing I want to mention is I think Kentuckians for Commonwealth, I want to say this to you because somebody said, well, how does this all happen? Um, I, I think the second key ingredient is I could give a pretty good speech, believe it or not. I could stand up right now and give a darn good speech because I get a lot of energy from people, and, I, and I've heard a lot that really inspires me. But you can give the speeches, and we can talk about the direction we want to go in, unless there's a constituency that can really fight for that, unless people are involved, unless people are their own leaders and speak for themselves, unless we have that Kentuckians for Commonwealth grassroots politics, that citizen action, it won't happen. So it seems to me that a real challenge, and I'm sorry that it just doesn't happen in one day, and I can't do this and will it into existence, is going to be to build the grassroots politics. Some of you today have talked about kind of grassroots economic development. Some of you have talked about homegrown economy. I heard that. We have that language in Minnesota. Some of you have talked about new uses for products. A lot of farmers in Minnesota are talking about the same thing, keeping more of the capital in the community. But the other part of it is I don't see how we're really going to be able to push forward an agenda, which, by the way, doesn't just affect poor people, doesn't just affect Letcher County or Whitesburg or Eastern Kentucky, but it's really the major, major agenda for most families in this country, which is how we can earn a decent living and how we can raise our children successfully, how we can give them the care we know they need and must, and that, that they need and that they deserve. I mean, how we get to that. I think it's going to be based upon how much muscle we can kind of get together to make that happen. And that's going to be the grassroots politics. I mean, people in the Congress, which is where I work, or people in the Senate, end up ultimately doing these things when there's a lot of citizen pressure to, to really kind of push that along. I mean, my goal someday, you know, I'll just spell out one dream, which is the citizen action dream is I just wonder what it would be like. Someone asked the question about the Democratic Party. Yeah, I'm not offended when you say you think the Democratic Party has lost part of, is in part lost its way. I agree with you. I don't think the Democratic Party has near the identification with these economic issues, with being for people, with being willing to speak up for people, with being willing to stand for expanding opportunities for everybody. You know, everybody does better when everybody does better. That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea at all. That's a community idea. That's a Letcher County idea. But I think that citizen action part is very important. Someone asked about the money. Yes to the reform. Absolutely, in a sense, the politics of the country has been hijacked by, by powerful financial interests. I mean, too much of it is, somebody asked the question earlier, why did all the deficit reduction get so, so focused on the people who are the poorest of the poor? I heard someone say that today. Well, because those people who are the heavy hitters and the well-connected and have the lobbyists and give the big bucks have much more power, and that's not right. But what do we do? Do we say we don't like the country because of that? Of course not. We love the country. I sure do. I know people here do. 
what's great about this country is whatever is unfair is not closed it's an open system we have the right to organize we have the right to speak out that's what we will do we need to build the grassroots politics all over again and that's where it's going to start from and i'm absolutely convinced that the vast majority of people are in complete agreement that we ought to get the big money out of politics that people ought to be a part of this political system that it shouldn't just respond to those people who have all the financial and political clout and that these issues that deal with earning a decent living and raising children successfully and having opportunities are the most important issues. And then finally, I'll just mention this, uh, but that won't happen unless we do a whole lot more of it. What would happen, for example, if on the same Saturday, today is a Saturday, all across the country, same hour, in Minnesota in every congressional district, in Kentucky in every congressional district, because all of us come back home, right? Washington, D.C. is too expensive an airplane trip away for too many people. But what would happen if we had a day that just focused on, if you will, reform, the whole issue of money in politics, and making government and making politics in Washington deal with the standard of living issues that are so important to most working families and their children? What would happen if everybody was called back home because we come back home anyway, and you had a town meeting <laughs> in every congressional district all across the country on the same day. It'd be a big story in Kentucky because it'd be a big story in Minnesota. It'd be a big story nationally because it was happening everywhere. There's, no, there's nothing that says that can't happen, right? In fact, it'd be a real good idea. We need to start building, we need to start doing much more of that so that all of us, whether we're Democrats or Republicans, um, will be more accountable to people. And then finally, I just would want to mention, which is my last point, um, that I, I was a community organizer for years. Every door I knocked at, every bit of porch sitting, you might call it here, we might call it something different in Minnesota, that I was dead, every single woman and man I met, I always felt this person has the potential to be a leader. I can tell that, right? This person has the potential to be a leader. Well, I'm telling you something. That is ultimately the real potential of this. And when it comes down to these issues, especially these when we're talking about children, and we're talking about the widespread poverty of children, which is our national disgrace, and it is our national disgrace, and we're talking about people in communities that want to chart their own economic course, and we're talking about community college students many of whom now can't go on for two years but are said you've got to now go, you, you're no longer going to be able to stay in school because we've got work requirements and are going to go back to a $4.50 an hour, $5.25 an hour job with no health care a year later, no medical assistance and no affordable child care and children being worse off. And when you're talking about all the potential that exists so that people who love Fletcher County and the mountains are part of their soul, or the lakes are part of their soul in Minnesota, and want to stay in the community, and they're young, and they want to graduate from high school, and they want to go on, and they want to come back in the community, which they love, and make it a better community, that is what we push for. Whether it's legal services lawyers, whether it's teachers, whether it's business people, whether it's minors, whether it's Democrats, whether it's Republicans, or whether it's independents, and I think I heard a lot of people who are a little disenchanted with both parties, you're about in the majority today, all of us together have just simply got to do that. I know two final things. If people don't, and if people say it doesn't matter what we do, and too many people have that resignation, I know one thing for sure. None of this change, none of this potential be realized. I can't guarantee that if everybody takes some time out of their lives, you all already do it, and organize and speak out and we push hard, I can't guarantee that it will ever be a heaven on earth. But I'll tell you one thing, we can make this a better earth on earth. Thank you.